Welcome everyone to the uh, board meeting tonight. I do call the meeting to order. Bryan Municipal Utilities Board Meeting for May 21st. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you like to do the roll call, please? I will. Karen Ford? Yes. Karen Schreiner? Here. Jim Salisbury? Yes. Dick Long? Present. And Bob Iyer? Yes. Okay. Met the <laughs> minutes of the last meeting on April um, for May 7th were distributed to everyone for review. Is there anything that needs to be added or corrected? If not, I'll accept a motion to approve. Seeing no additions or corrections, Karen, I'll move that we accept the May 7th. Uh, Minutes as written. I'll second it. Dick? Yes. Annette? Yes. Karen? Yes. Jim? Yes. And Bob? Yes. Next up, we have time for a hearing of public concerns. Anybody like to speak? Seeing none. Next step will be the clerk treasure report for the month of April. Um, as we do every month, the board has received the financial statements, the bank statements, and um, various reports for the month ended April 30th, 2024. Um, and uh, I would offer to answer any questions you might have now or um, any time you want to get a hold of me in the future. Motion to approve, please. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Bob? Yes. Annette? Yes. Karen? Yes. Jim? Yes. And Dick? Yes. Next up is to effect semi monthly disbursements. A motion would be required. I will make a motion that we pay the bills. Second. Annette? Yes. Dick? Yes. Karen? Yes. Jim? Yes. And Bob? Yes. Next on the agenda, comments from BPA and staff. Bob, would you like to start us up, please? Yes, I do. I have a couple questions. And uh, I'll go, obviously, to Derek. Um, I'm looking at the Bryan Municipal Utilities Power Plant Report of Operations. Outages. Um, <laughs> I'm familiar with uh, contract dig-ins. I mean, we I might make around. Well, we've seen those quite frequently. Uh, electrical strikes, equipment, and all those things. Help me understand. How does the squirrel take out our operations? Uh, operates the circuit. I, I will tell you about from what you're looking at there. And there are some corrections that need to be made, uh, and I don't have oh, the updated, co updated copy. More squirrels? Um, <laughs> no, some of the dates are wrong on there. May That's I okay. add? Yes. About 75% of our outages are caused from those tree rats. Really? Yeah. Those squirrels, I mean, how do they do it? They get into the transformers to store their nuts in the fall, and they cross them too. A, B phase, and they go when they go up the poles. Jim can there's, explain there's, it better. There's grounds in hot leads all over up there. Even the even the metal case of the transformer is grounded. So all they would have to do is stand on the top of the transformer case and stick their nose up into a jumper coming down from the, the fuse cutout. Okay, and that would be that would be the end of that. Um, yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them get into secondary racks before and get their tail against the neutral and their nose into a just a hot secondary. And I'm just amazed. And it ends. I mean, I said before, I looked at it as a contractor did <coughs> that's where I came from. That was that was probably the most common. Well, a lot of them now they put they have guards and stuff. They put yeah. bushings and stuff. I just there. I just saw that squirrels. I Those oh. critter guards haven't worked since uh, I hired in yeah. in 2000. So they not prevented them yet. Maybe five I think it was only maybe four or five years ago we were talking about 
73 percent back then of our outages were caused by squirrels. Let's say a high percentage are. I mean, it's that's amazing. With squirrels. That's amazing. So there's obviously an ongoing issue. Squirrel proofing. Uh, they they work towards it every year. It, it happens. Okay. I understand that. It makes sense. I mean, I just saw it. And I, I, had, I had to ask. Um, second question I have. Um, in April, we had a record amount of rain. Uh, the last record was 1929, and we broke that by about an inch and a half. So my question is, if we had that much rain, that did that give us more or less? Less. Because right. they, they, were power, they were powered to dam. The high water and the boards were out up until last week. We had to wait for safe conditions to get back out on the river to put the boards on. So it was actually down, even though we had a high level of water. And is April the typical month where we have the highest? I would have to look at some of the historical information. I mean, I mean I'm, a, I'm just thinking typically in April, it's when almost a rain. I mean, from May through probably October, November, I don't know too much of that. But uh, my curiosity, I was looking at those lines and I thought to myself that we had quite a record but yeah I could see that it would overflow and therefore you couldn't generate because you get too much water going over Bob exactly the tail water down below if that tail water is too much water we can't even generate yeah because it, it just don't work too much tail water below okay but, yeah. okay that makes sense those are my two questions. <laughs> Squirrels and water. Thank you. Dick? Uh, i just like to encourage all the board members and employees to come to the flat raising Friday at 11 o'clock. And with that, I just like wish everybody a happy, safe Memorial Day. That's all I have. Yeah, likewise, a happy and safe Memorial Day for everybody. <clears throat> Yes, everybody get out there and enjoy the nice long weekend, mm -hmm. <laughs> the upcoming weekend. So, yes, happy more out there. Okay. You have nothing to add? John? I have nothing to add. Anyone in the audience? Okay. Uh, next up, we are going to take a recess uh, prior to meeting for an executive session. Oh, for the employment and compensation of a public employee asked to attend the uh, executive session are all BPA members, Derry, John, Tricia, and Mark Fischel. So they'll need to make a motion to go into executive session for this reason with a second and a roll call vote. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. You said recess, I was confused, sorry. Yeah. As soon as we come back from recess, we'll make that motion. I got it. Okay. Understood. 